Hey what's up guys this is Sonip Sky and in this video I'm going to show you how to dual boot Fedora 43 and Windows 10 or 11 so let's get started. So first of all you need to go to the Fedora website and download the Fedora 43 ISO file. After that another tab and search for Rufus and search and download the latest version of Rufus to make a bootable USB of Fedora and once you have done that exit your web browser and then insert your pen drive which is at least of 8 GB and please uh, make up backup of your pen drive first and after that go to downloads and open Rufus now select the Fedora ISO file which you just downloaded earlier and for the partition scheme search for system information and as you can see my BIOS mode is UEFI so I'm going to choose GPT if it is legacy BIOS then you need to choose MBR and after that click on start and it will make a bootable USB of Fedora since I've already done that I'm not going to do it again now close everything and then right click on your start menu and open disk management now here right click on your local disk C or any other local disk and then select shrink volume now I recommend giving at least 60 GB of free space for Fedora After creating the free space, exit disks management and it's time to reboot and boot from the Fedora USB. Now while your computer is starting, press the boot menu key which is usually the F12 key or escape key to open the boot selection menu. And from that menu, choose the USB option. So finally we have put it into Fedora 43 live ISO. Now if you have already tried it and everything works, you can click on Fedora Linux, otherwise you can try the distro first. Now click on install Fedora if you have already tried it. Now here choose your language and your keyboard layout if you are okay with it you can leave the settings as default now here you can select change destination to choose your drive where you want to install fedora so since i have created a free space on my 256 gb ssd i'm going to select this drive and click on select now before proceeding click on this three dots at the top and select launch storage editor now here select the free space and select create partition 
Now we need to create our EFI partition so that Windows does not mess up with the Fedora bootloader. So I'm going to type Fedora EFI for the name. And for the mount point, I'm going to type slash boot slash EFI. And for the type, select EFI system partition. And make sure their size is 1 GB. And click on create. Now please note this block number and remember it so in my case it is nvme 0 and 1p4 and for the remaining free space we are going to create this partition as root so I'm going to just type fedora root and for the mount point type forward slash now you can set the type as ext4 or btrfs so it's according to your wish for the size I'm going to leave it as it is and if you don't want any encryption you can leave the options as it is and click on create so as you can see we have created these two part new partitions and please note down these numbers and go to return to installation now select continue Now the installer has auto detected the options but if you are not sure about this then you can also create mount point assignment and go to next. Now for the root partition the installer has already assigned the correct partitions for correct mount point so if it is not assigned correctly then you need to assign the mount point slash as the root partition and slash boot slash EFI for the system EFI partition which we created earlier and we don't need this slash boot so I'm going to remove it so it should be like this and also reformat the EF slash boot slash EFI partition and click on next so make sure that these format partitions are correct before proceeding so since everything is okay I'm going to apply mount and install so this may take a while so I'm going to fast forward this part so finally our installation is complete now we can select exit live desktop and reboot the system Now while our computer is rebooting, press the F2 key to enter the BIOS menu and set the boot priority to Fedora. So make sure that Fedora has the highest boot priority. Now F press F10 key to save and exit the setup. every time you reboot you will see this graph menu to choose between the OS so first let's boot into Fedora to check if it is installed So as you can see we have installed Fedora successfully. Make sure to enable third party repositories as well. And then set up your username. Now let's reboot and try to boot into Windows, so let's do that.
Here choose the option which is Windows Boot Manager to boot into Windows. So as you can see we have boot, dual booted with Fedora and Windows 10 or 11 successfully. So that's it for the video guys, thank you for watching.